today you've joined hundreds of established and emerging writers who are discovering ways to reach their writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. You're listening to Ann Croker, Writing Coach. This is episode 200, Next Level Writer, Relentlessly Execute Your Plan to Level Up. Unless a fairy godmother shows up and sprinkles fairy dust all over your laptop to magically boost you to the next level without any effort on your part, you'll have to commit to your plan and follow through. Shane Milach of Active Growth Podcast said in a recent webinar, we must relentlessly implement or relentlessly execute to level up. It's the only way we evolve and mature into the writers we need to be in order to produce the work we want to produce to reach the readers we want to reach. This podcast itself is an example of my own relentless implementation, although faithful implementation might be a better way to phrase it. I did leave some unavoidable gaps here and there due to some caregiving chaos, but the majority of the time, For five years, I have faithfully, relentlessly sent out weekly content. I don't have any superpowers. I I just keep showing up week after week, year after year. And here we are at episode 200. That faithful, relentless commitment allowed me to level up. But it can be slow going. In fact, for any of us, our growth can be imperceptible, so much so we may be tempted to give up before we realize our full potential. You might stop before you gain traction and experience real growth. When I started the podcast in 2014, I treated it as an experiment, and things didn't take off right away. I was releasing episodes weekly, so eight episodes would be two months of output. So if I'd stopped, After the eighth episode, I would have missed the fruit of my labor, and I could have easily ended the experiment early on, but I was having fun, and I wanted to keep going, even if it wasn't a success by measurable standards. Thankfully, I stuck with it. I figured out the best length and frequency to release episodes, and I decided what I really wanted to offer through the podcast, even in the midst of a crazy time of life. I kept up with it. Over at the show notes, you can find a graph if you're curious. I'll try to explain it here. I'm not going to show actual numbers, but it's a bar graph that shows the growth of the podcast over time. Between 2014, when I started, and 2017, it is a gradual, gradual growth. But what's significant to me in looking back is that that first month, there was a little interest because people who knew me were, you know, tuning in to see what the podcast was like. But the month after that, it dips down even lower. Now that might have been during that chaos. But even if you look at the third month, it rises only barely to where I was when I launched. So basically, I've had no growth at this time. The fourth month, it rises a little bit. And the fifth month is just about equal with the fourth month. It is not until the sixth month that this podcast saw any reasonable or significant growth. So I mention this only to say that it took six months before I really saw growth. So in other words, I did not have a fairy godmother sprinkle fairy dust on my microphone, not even at the sixth month. I never showed up on the Apple podcast new and noteworthy page where some people do and they get a boost there. I just kept creating another episode and sharing it with people on social media, faithfully, relentlessly implementing my plan. If you look at the long-term growth, you do see a gradual increase over time, but it took time. Prior to the podcast, my plan had involved creating content for my website and on social media. But then when I introduced the podcast, as it leveled up, My exposure as a coach and as a writer rose with it. Thanks to podcasting, I developed audio recording and editing skills. I wrote regularly to script and share my content. And I shared that content not only in audio form, but also in written format. And I gained confidence as a presenter, which led to some speaking opportunities. 
I connected with new writers who met me through the podcast. I stayed current on industry trends so that I could pass that along to listeners like you. I introduced you to authors and publishers through interviews, and I read more books on writing than I normally would so I could share that wisdom in various episodes. And I had fun. (laughs) Yeah, I had fun. I really do enjoy this medium. And I love serving and supporting you by shipping episodes week after week that you can use to grow and be encouraged as a writer. Now, you may subscribe and listen to the podcast or read the text version at the website, and some people receive the content only through the newsletter that I send out as a weekly email. All of those elements, the ways that I deliver this content is also part of my plan. Now, how about you? What does it look like for you to relentlessly execute your plan? Well, depending on your goals and your tasks, your plan may require you to increase your daily word count to meet an aggressive deadline or finish a massive book. You might get more involved in social media or submit more essays and poems to literary magazines. It may require you to pitch yourself as a columnist for your local newspaper or write flash fiction once a week or set up your editorial calendar and complete the next task at the allotted time. You may refresh your editorial calendar weekly, rescheduling items as needed and adding new project milestones as they arise. Or it may require you to update social media channels at a frequency you can sustain. So set SMART goals. That means they are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. And that way you can see progress as you relentlessly implement. Then follow through. Enact your plan. Relentlessly executing the plan is the only way you can possibly level up. Unless you find that fairy godmother. Then, well, have fun and be careful not to stay out past midnight. I'm Ann Croker cheering you on as a writing coach in your ear. Everywhere we may meet. At my website, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in your inbox, here on this podcast, over at Patreon, or even in person. I'm always looking for ideas to share with you that will help you achieve your writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. Thank you for listening. 